it's Amanda. So today I have a New York haul and I think I do these annually because I go to New York every spring break. So we're gonna start off with clothing because heart eye emoji. But I'm just gonna show you what I got from Topshop because that's like my fa- no it's not like my favorite store. It is my favorite store. It just always has everything I need so on point with the trends. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it for me. If there's ever something that I'm looking for, Topshop always has it. So first off, I got these overalls. Ooh, I got these overall shorts that I am in love with and I have pieces of hair hanging on me. I just posted a picture um, on Instagram in them and I'm just obsessed. I wore like a black bralette on this, like underneath it so you could see it on the side. It's just shorts like this, it's gonna start getting hotter gonna be summer pretty soon um it's you know so I just thought this would be a better idea I think they're so cute and I've been wanting one of these a pair of these for a while the next thing is a little bit more dressy it is this jumpsuit so you can't really tell here it's just all black it's really like structured and just has these like loose kind of tight like I don't know <laughs> legs um, I think this would be good for any kind of fancy or special event or something I need to go to. It's good to have something like this, and I've been looking for, um, a, like a jumpsuit like this. Like I said, if I'm ever looking for something, Topshop has it. So, I finally got this one. And the last thing I got from Topshop is a fanny pack. Okay, this is where this started for me. Like, before Playlist Live, I was in LA with my sister and we were at Kitson and I saw a leather studded um, fanny pack and I'm like, this, this is going to be the next big thing, I know it. And I d d just didn't buy it because it didn't seem relevant at the time. And now I am seeing them everywhere. I decided, I'm like, I'm going to get it now because I knew it was going to be something big and I'm finally seeing so many people like wearing it now. And when I st stepped into Topshop, like, Different types of fanny packs, this one, other ones, were all over the place, like, you know, poking out to you, like, hey, look at me, fanny packs, new big thing. So, I'm just, I don't know how I'm going to wear it. Um, I haven't put any thought into it yet, but I think it's cute, and I'm excited to see how this is going to work out. <laughs> Next, I went to H&M, and I got another pair of overalls, but it's not denim. Um, I don't... Is this? I don't know what this is actually. Let's see. 60s? Okay. It's mostly cotton, but it's just like this cream. I don't think it's actually white. It's, um, it looks very white on the camera, but it's kind of cream. And these ones fit a lot better than the, the denim ones because this is more like the shorts are tighter and it's not like boyfriend ish, you know, like boyfriend jeans. This is like fitted versus the other one. And I thought this would be cute with some things. I also haven't put any thought into how I'm going to wear this, but I just think it's so cute. And I got this skirt, which is very interesting. It is very heavy, um, and like it has this elastic in here. Re it's just really interesting, but I think it's cool. I don't, it's like, it seems like there's some type of like cushion in it, actually. Don't, I'm just confused about this whole thing, but it's cute. So, um, I think I have, I have a few ideas of how I want to wear this, but I just think it's awesome, it's different, it's cool. Woo! The next thing from H&M is this sweater that is, I don't know if it's getting washed out. It has all these, like, kind of bubble dot things on it. Short sleeves, but the sleeves are kind of, like, wide. And it's a crew neck, but it's not too thick. Also something that's kind of strange, different, not sure how I'm going to style this, but it caught my attention. I'm like, sure. And then the last thing is this skirt, which is just a gray, and it has like little black speckles in it. Um, it's just a maxi skirt. This is just something really simple, and I can, I'm already picturing how many ways I can wear this. And it actually has a slit in it. I didn't realize that until I tried it on, but it has a slit in it, which is pretty cool. The next place I went was Zara. Um, I got the infamous envelope kind of skirt. I think it's actually called the Bermuda skirt, but I just call it an envelope skirt. And I have gotten a few. I got one from Windsor, I think, and one from Forever 21, but they just don't fit me. They're way too big, even the smallest size. So I went to the kids section in Zara and got this. It's like 
a size 12 in kids, so it fits perfectly and I'm just so excited. I need to get the white one too because the other ones that I've had and I've worn on episodes of the meetup, I just pinned it in the back to make it work, uh, but I can't actually wear it like that. So now I'm excited I can actually wear this thing. Woo! And then the next thing is this dress, which is gray, and I can't really show you it right here, but it's really, really long and it's high-low, but only a little bit. You can't even see that. There we go. It's like just that much high-low. Um, it goes like past my knees. I think I might get it like tailored to like come up on the side like a little bit, like scrunch up, um, because I think that'd look cute. I gotta work with this. Think of ideas how I can wear it, but I think it's cute and simple. Okay, that's all I got for clothing. I'm gonna move on to makeup products that I bought. Um, I went to Sephora. The first thing I got is the Chocolate Bar Too Faced Palette. I've been seeing this a little bit and I thought it was just so cool. I've been using the same Naked Palette over and over and over again. So I thought it'd be cool to try something new. Looks like a chocolate bar, that's the case. And here's the plus, it smells like chocolate. I'm a chocoholic, so this is a perfect palette for me. It seriously smells like chocolate, it's amazing. And it has all these kind of neutral colors, but it has like a purple, purple kind of, they're both purple, so pink. So I'm kind of a little bit of color in there too, so you can try to work with that. I'm just really excited to play around this, play around with this, and make some looks. Recently, I've been really into lip products. I've always been someone that collects lip products, but I just never really wear them on a daily basis. And now I am starting to. Um, let's, what should I start? Okay, this. From Laura Mercier, I found this lip pencil, and this is in the color Plumberry. And this matches my lipstick from Bobbi Brown exactly. The one that I showed in my favorites video, it's in the color Tawny Pink. Tawny Pink. Um, this one matches it perfectly, so I thought that this would be good to wear with that. Then I wanted to try out one of these lip glosses. This is from Dior, fancy fancy, but this is in the color Spring Ball. I'm not a huge fan of the sparkliness in this, but it's not too much and I think it's really pretty. It's just like this light pink color. I don't really have anything like this and I wanted to try out the formula of this one, actually, like this particular one, so I thought I would try this out. And this one, and let me tell you about this one. This is um, from Buxom and this is the color White Russian. I love the color, it's on my lips now. It's like supposed to be matte, which it doesn't dry matte. Like I don't know what they meant by that, maybe just like, I don't, I can't even explain it. I don't know what they were trying to go for. It's not matte, but it's not super glossy, so you know, it works out. It's just kind of like the same color, a little bit lighter. Um, except it has no shimmer in it, so I like that, and I wanted to see how the matte was. ...is famous for, and I think buxom actually means, like, plump. Well, Amanda, you should be thinking a little bit more. I really love this, and I actually love the feeling of the plumping. It's kind of like, tingly, not tingly, is awesome. I love the feeling of it. Um, I don't really need the plumping, um, but it doesn't do too much where it's, like, terrible. Although, when I wake up, my lips are, like, really swollen. It's so weird, but I put this on in the morning for the first time, and it made my lips look crazy. It was not okay, but, you know, on a normal basis, if I wear this, it's good. I'm pretty happy with the size of my lips, so I don't really need it to be, like... Boom, make my lips bigger. Last but not least, I went to Forever 21 and got a few necklaces. I got this. I don't know how, how I feel about this, but I just got it because I wanted to try it out. I th thought it would be cool. It's this choker. Um, I don't even know. It's very, very different. It's just this choker, and it's gold. has all these chains hanging out from it. I've never tried, like, I haven't tried it on yet, so I have no idea what it would look like. It's very different, and that's kind of why I wanted to try it because it looked interesting. So hopefully it's cute, I just can't really tell. This one that I'm wearing right now, what's going on? And this necklace that I'm wearing right now, which just looks like this, um, and it like can go up more or like that. Um, I got this one too, and I'm wearing it right now. I also got this in silver, and that's the one that broke, so hopefully this one doesn't break. Then I just got this super simple um, necklace. It's a gold, tiny little bar, like that, if you can see it. Um, it's just something really simple, you can layer it, or if I just want something little. And then this is a silver one, it's just this um, little leaf. 
that's about it. That's the whole necklace, and I think it's still cute. That is my whole haul. That's what I got from um, New York. I will also be back in New York very soon for BeautyCon, so if you're going to be there, I'll see you there. Ooh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.